Yo guys, check this out. So over winter break for Christmas, I got a brand new magnet and rope. Same brand that I had last time. I think it's the same exact kind too. It should be like a 900, 950-ish pole force magnet. Brand new, I'm gonna take it out for the first time today because the weather's finally warm and I got some time on my hands. I'm gonna try a brand new bridge and I'll see you there. Okay. The spot looks pretty decent. Only issue is the water is pretty high right now, so the current might be an issue. Also, forgive the wind. It's like an unspoken rule that every time I go out and film one of these, it's like 50 mile an hour wind, so hopefully my audio is not too jacked up, but let's get into it. All right, let's go. This is a great sign. I just latched onto something. I can tell it's metal and we're only two throws in, so let's see what this is oh it's heavy oh it broke off let's see if i can get back on that thing all right here we go again we'll try it slower ah this current is trying to take it what have we got here oh my god that was a big box of some sort only issue is it just got taken under the bridge so yeah unfortunately the current pushed that big box thing well under the bridge. Uh, I wonder what that was. But look, we got something else coming up. All right, just some part to something, some little metal rod. All right, I guess this is the new magnet's first official find. You got a wrench. <laughs> look at this. Well, I guess not really a wrench, but like some pair of heavy duty pliers. That's pretty cool. This place ain't half bad so far. They're not even in bad condition. Look, they open and close and everything. I just found the top to a really old can. Just the lid though. You can see where the little pop tab would have been. All right guys, I went back to trying to find that big box thing and I am back on it. I'm gonna try to lift this thing up. We'll see if the magnet keeps popping off or not, but it'd be epic if I can get this thing all the way up. Bro, the issue is it, it's facing upwards. So when I get it out of the water, there's a ton of water in it making it heavier, but it's like some big metal box. Well, unfortunately, whatever that box thing is I had to give up on, it's down there somewhere. I completely lost it now. I did find this piece of barbed wire, though. But there's a lot of time going on in between these cuts in the video, so... If I don't start finding more over here, I'm going to switch to the other side, which I might have more luck anyway, because that's the side it's flowing to. Which means that's the side things would flow towards if they got pushed down. Okay guys, sorry. I know I've been on again, off again, like a failing relationship with this box, but I'm back on it again. I'm going to try to finally get it over to that edge, because I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it up without it falling off, so... Let's give it a shot. We're not quite there yet, but at least it's out of the rapids and we're close. Ah, almost there. Ah, stop falling off. There. What is that? All right, I think that's the best we're gonna get. Let me go down and take a look. Okay, cool, no one under there. For some reason, I thought I heard a cough earlier and it really confused me. What are you? This thing has given me so much trouble today. Get some of that water out. Bro, it's a safe. I had my theory and it, it totally is a safe. Look at that. Look at the combination right there. That's wild. I do believe that's the first safe I've ever found. I know I've latched onto big boxes before, but I don't think I ever got one completely up like this. I mean, if you count this as being completely up, I know there's no way I'm getting it out of here, but... I don't think it'd be clickbait to say this was stolen, because why else would you dump a safe and... 
I mean, look, there's nothing in it. So, whatever was in it, they clearly took already. Actually, this little battery slot here is kind of making me second guess. Like, why would a safe like this need a battery thing unless it was powered that way for some reason? I, I don't see what else it could be, though. You know? It's a safe. We'll call it a safe. All right. Now that I feel vindicated that we finally got this thing, I'm going to take a few throws off the other side. Maybe something else got washed that way in the current. Get some friendly people right there. They told me their son was looking for a magnet, so I, I told them uh, how to get one. That is some super extreme bent metal. It's the first thing I found on the other side. It's only, it's hard because the current takes your magnet away from the bridge instead of back towards it. So we'll see how much longer I can put up with that. There is something major right here. It takes up like several feet of space and it latches on strong, but it does not budge. Like, listen to this. Like, do you hear that? Do you hear how strong that gets on there? But it just does not move. Look at this big mess of wire I just pulled up. It's kind of cool, actually. Now we got a much less twisted wire. I just pulled this up, but man, I'm slowly working my way across here. There are several giant objects down there, like at least two of them I've seen that are multiple feet wide and made almost entirely of metal but they're so large and heavy that you can't physically pull it out with just a magnet and some manpower like like it's a shame that it'll it'll have to remain a mystery but man there's some huge stuff down there i just don't want to keep messing with it because i'm afraid my magnet will latch on to some place too smooth where i can't physically pull it off i am definitely on a little something something here what is that? Bro, that looks like, uh, that's razor sharp, whatever that is. Jeez. Dang. Looks like a medieval torture device. I wanna say like some sort of, actually, man, that was a whole bunch of different things at once. This is definitely some sort of like vehicle or maybe like tractor part. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere, so there's probably a lot of farming equipment. All that's probably just a bunch of a big spring, and then this could be anything, just siding to something. But man, this is really cool, actually. I'm on something else right in the same spot. There's got to be like a little pile of stuff right here, like maybe there's a drop-off there. It's right on the edge of the current, after all. Whoa. Oh, I think I know what that is. So this big, giant, long stick thingy, I do believe is part of like a bed frame or a mattress. You know why? Because look, if you can see right there, there's the rest of it. There's like a whole like bed mattress holding thingy. I, I don't know the word, like bed frame down there. And this must have gotten separated from the rest of it. Found more uh, wire and I definitely think that's what this first bit of wire was. So I bet you like there's a whole bed mattress thing down there. All I gotta do is throw it out to that little area and I get something almost every time, at least a little something. Now we got a big metal flake. Piles really adding up here now. Of course we got more mattress springs and looky here, a little fish hook setup. I forget what this is called. The the more durable line portion there that the fish can't bite through, but someone lost it probably on one of those mattress springs. All right, I'll pull up maybe a few more things. I don't want to be too greedy because I definitely want to come back here and still have stuff to find next time. Oh, hang on. Don't fall off. Check that out. That looks to be a little door. Maybe do another safe. Who knows? Oh, we just latched onto something with a little bit of weight on it. Oh, it's a big pipe. But what is hanging off of it? 
What on earth is this? It's just like solid steel. It's really heavy. But it's almost like an anchor of some sort. What is this? Just some raggedy thing. Maybe something to do with fishing. Maybe some sort of like trap for poaching. I don't know. But it's like a heavy weight cylindrical thing. Listen to the sound that makes. So you know it's heavy. Well, fellas, that was actually a really productive day. That's a great first uh, use of that magnet. I'm gonna pack all this away and then get out of here. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Thanks so much for watching. This is a great spot. Maybe I'll come back here sometime. Peace out. See you next time.